Hey guys and welcome back to another one and this will be a quick one just to share with you that uh, it's really interesting to see WeTech updating their Android TV boxes uh, to Android 6.0 and they are starting with the WeTech up that I did review a while back and I'll post a link right over here just in case you want to check that out. Now I did test that out, everything worked fine so if you guys want to uh, update to Android 6.0 and be a better tester you can do that but I will share my experience you do all i did was to plug in this device of course then i did press that online update button for some reason it was not working uh, probably their servers were down but doesn't matter i did download the image from um, the WeTech forum and then after that I did insert it on the SD card, press that local update button and that was it. Have in mind that uh, this process will erase everything so just back up your data that you probably have on your Android TV box, any pictures and so on and so forth so that you don't lose that uh, data. And after a couple of minutes, a few minutes, five minutes probably, uh, I had everything working with Android 6.0.1 and that is great to see the WeTech Hub, which is a really nice and small footprint Android TV box running Android 6.0.1 uh, because it had it was launched with Android 5.1.1 and now it has been updated. Guys, WeTech also claims that now it's possible to play Netflix at 4K on this little device. I did not test it out by myself, so if any of you guys have the WeTech Hub and you are willing to test it out, just leave down below in the comment section uh, your experience probably there will be a few bugs I will leave a link to the direct forum so that you guys can check it out what's going on with this update um, the reaction of the community uh, we tech uh, fixing the bugs and so on which is always cool and that is it by the way I've got the kidnap 231 plus right over here next to me and the Xiaomi Mi Pad 2 which I just used on my previous video I will post a link somewhere around over here as well on a tutorial on how to centralize the Kodi library so that we can have everything centralized and then we can uh, use Android TV boxes tablets phones uh, any device Windows OS 10 and so on and so forth and have all our media uh, centralized so that we can start watching an episode right over here and then we stop it and we go to our bedroom and we want to keep watching here and everything is great and centralized and that is it guys hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Alberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one